Have you ever wondered why some people get better and some people don't? Are there ba barriers to healing, some by the doctor and some by the patient? Well, this video answers those questions. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jason West with a topic that's near and dear to my heart because I see it every day, and that is barriers to healing. Why do some people get better with different treatments, and why do people struggle or stay the same? And when I first started to practice, I thought everyone wanted to get better. And so I have three stories that I, that I tell people that illustrates this point. The first story is I had a lady come into my office in 2005 that had a severe case of rheumatoid arthritis, she investigated some of the recommended medical treatments and didn't like the side effects of the prescribed program. And so she came into the office and she said, Dr. West, how can you help me? And we did a series of toxins elimination and inflammation elimination and with some vitamin infusion therapy. And we treated her every Tuesday for about two years. Now last year she snow skied like 52 times and ran the St. George Marathon. And the moral of that story is if you treat people long enough, with good stuff, everybody gets better. That's what I thought for years, and that's not the case because I had another patient come to my office from New Jersey that had some MS, and it was a pretty severe case, and I thought in my head, if I treat her with these vitamin infusion therapies for an extended time period, I really believe that I can help her. And what happened is we treat her roughly three times a week for a year, and at the end of the year, I didn't really see any outcomes and she was disappointed and frustrated and I was disappointed and frustrated. And the moral of that story is that you can't overtreat people. If you're providing a therapy that's not getting good clinical outcomes, stop doing the therapy. Now just when I thought you want to treat people forever and then you don't want to overtreat people, I had a wonderful a patient come out from Florida that thought she was going to die. Her name's Amanda. You can actually see her testimonial on our, on our video tube channel where she went from a wheelchair and thinking she was going to die to really good health. And her story was, as we started providing the treatments, I didn't know if she was getting better and I didn't want to over treat her. I didn't want to give up on her. And I walked into the room one day um, and I was getting ready to tell her, I don't think that this is working. You need to go back to Florida. And she said, Dr. West, I want to show you something. And she got up out of her chair and she started walking. She said, I haven't been able to do that for years. The treatments are working. And the moral of that story is that you can never take away patient's hope. So treat people forever. Don't over treat people. Never remove help. And out of that experience, I learned that there's actually five barriers to healing. Now, the first barrier to healing, why people aren't getting better from a healthcare condition, if they have the wrong treatments and then they have the wrong doctors. And so sometimes you're just doing the wrong thing or the medical community or the alternative medicine community is doing the wrong thing and we're not getting very good outcomes. And I think this is so important if you have a healthcare condition to research your healthcare condition and know all of your options and find the doctor that's right for you. And how do you know if you have a, the right doctor is if you're getting good clinical outcomes, you're making progress. The second reason why people don't get better is because they don't want to get better. Now, this seems really, really unusual. I didn't think that this was happening when I first started taking care of people, but sometimes what happens with people is that they have a disease and they become the disease or it becomes their identity. And they can say, well, I could have been a first chair in the symphony or I could have been a senator or astronaut or president of the United States, but because I have this chronic debilitating disease, I can't do that. And they like the attention and, and they actually are enabled by their inner circle. And so sometimes they don't want to get better. And this is a really hard truth for the doctor for the patient and for the patient's inner circle, which is the third barrier to healing, the inner circle. Because if a patient investigates a therapy that they wanna do or they like a doctor and they don't have support from the inner circle, it's been my experience that people really don't get better. You don't necessarily have to have the inner circle agree with the therapies that the patients are doing, but if they provide barriers, it's really, really difficult on the patient. The other reason why people don't get better is because they run out of financial resources. You know, in America, we have a great crisis care intervention where if you have a heart attack or you have a car accident, that's the best in the world for that type of medicine. But if you're in the chronic disease category, sometimes what happens is we try to treat everybody like they have an emergency and we don't get the outcomes that we expect in the long-term solution or the long-term healthcare arena. And financially, it's really, really expensive to go through and look at all the different doctors and go into your insurance program or your cash pay system. And so finances are a huge barrier to healing. So we have wrong doctors, wrong treatments, 
We have the patients that want to get better. We have the inner circle and we also have financial barriers. And that's the reason why sometimes people don't get better. So when we talk about the barriers to healing, you got to know of all of your options. You got to research the doctors. You need to educate and make sure that your inner circle is helping you with all of your different options and that they support you in your treatment options. They don't have to always believe it as long as they're not a barrier. And then there's all these, these different mechanisms and the treatments available that as you research and you can find them and you can put them with your financial parameters that you can find your path to health. I believe there's a way. I believe there's always hope in one patient at a time. This is Dr. Jason West and we'll see you on the next video. Hey, if you like the video, will you please like or share or repost and there's information and a report in the description. This is Dr. West, see you on the next video.